welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel for our uh, coverage of Charbonne Hydrogen. This is a first mover company in the green hydrogen space. I do emphasize green hydrogen. It's traded under the ticker symbol CHHYF. I will provide that in the description as well as the link to the website. So you can kick over and take a look at what this company is doing. Uh, it's uh, under a lot of people's radars, that's for sure. We look to provide some awareness on this company so people can throw it in the watch list, do some due diligence, and uh, make their investment decisions on whether or not they want to continue to follow the story, um, as I'm interested in doing. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel, continue to follow updates on Charbonne. But I would encourage you not to not to sleep on this. Okay, Opportunities come in a lot of different forms and fashions, and I really want to focus on their timeline for uh, bringing Sorrel Tracy, which is their first property, on the line. Contracts are done. Uh, arrangements are already set in place to transport the green hydrogen through Superior. We've talked about this before. But how is it that they're going to make this happen? Okay. First of all, for you guys that don't know, um, the Independent Investor Channel is affiliated with Charbonne. Uh, I'm paid to provide content like this. You can check the disclaimers in the, um, the description below uh, to understand my relationship and um, my insistence on providing uh, this awareness to Charbonne. Uh, but I would invite each and every individual that's catching this content to understand that it's their responsibility to do their own due diligence uh, on this company. We have uh, an initial forecast of June of 2024. So at the time of filming this video, we are uh, eagerly awaiting um, an announcement on progress for Charbonne. Now, if this happens in June, great. If it doesn't and, and it gets shifted to the right, so be it. Um, I'm going off of the information that I have with regard to phase 1A, um, getting Sorrel Tracy off the ground. OK, now the reason for delay until now, until June, when they expect to have the electrolyzer, which is the key component in their uh, ability to produce green hydrogen at the amount of kilograms per day that can actually be useful um, in, and profitable to them, is not going to happen until they get the larger electrolyzer. So what they're going to start with is something to where they can get the project off the ground here in what they're deeming to be phase 1A, okay? The phase 1A is anticipated to take some startup costs. This is going to be the diff most difficult phase in standing this up, the $3 million of initial capital uh, to get this first property. There's going to be kinks. There's going to be hiccups along the line. But once they can do this and really start to produce some green hydrogen here with the assistance of um, the transportation company that has been onboarded to assist them in doing so, it really sets them up favorably for phasing the Sorrel Tracy into uh, a, a more profitable state. Now, that isn't expected to happen until December uh, of this year. But guys, that's only a few months away. And when we're talking about a, a segue to that end, and, and looking to pull in some serious profit or some serious EBITDA revenue uh, on phase 1B, which is scheduled to go down in December, you can quickly see here how important this first phase in. They are looking to lose a little bit on the onset, but this is more of a proof of concept that they're looking to do. And if they can onboard this and provide green hydrogen, and deliver on the numbers that they are um, expecting to make off of the green hydrogen in phase 1A, it really sets themselves up for nice for December, the back half of this year, uh, and the phase in of, um, of 1B. It will be during that time that they're able to bring on the larger equipment necessary to produce green hydrogen at a larger amount. Uh, which sets them up, their initial cost doesn't have to be repeated, but their additional cost all in is going to be 2.2 million. The total between the two phases, 5.2 million, with an opportunity to make EBITDA profit close to uh, uh, EBITDA revenue, uh, $800,000. So 
very interesting when we talk about the profit making potential uh, of these pro- uh, of these uh, projects and how lucrative uh, this could actually be when they start to phase in next year and into 2025 and the projects are expected to grow so does the uh, projections for revenue and once these guys can start to bring in this revenue that is going to be the time where it is going to be absolutely imperative for investors to pay attention to what these guys could actually do so so very interesting uh, when we're looking at the phase in process and looking what they're supposed to do and it's important for share owners to truly understand how important this first project is in not only starting follow-on projects they're looking to deploy a decentralized model which means that they're taking the technology to the locations where the green hydrogen doesn't have to be transported, rather produced on site and then transported to clients that have been pre-identified in those locations that can benefit from uh, from those initiatives. So very, very intriguing when we start to look at some of the revenue projections um, later in next year and 2025 in producing the green, green hydrogen. I mean, we're talking about even EBITDA revenue in 2025, close to $4 million, right? So once they have the ability to start generating EBITDA profit or EBITDA revenue that is um, making money, uh, that is anticipated to continue to make money as long as the customers are happy, the price of hydrogen can eventually go down and the cost of transportation can be driven down by the deployment of Charbonne's uh, business model. So I I wanted to kind of walk you through that so you understand the timeline here in June and December, two major milestones going from phase 1A to phase 1B, 1A being the initial stand-up of the smaller electrolyzer to get that hydrogen in the hands of the customers. But in phase 1B, um, looking to turn the corner on uh, EBITDA positive top line revenue at over eight hundred thousand dollars, which is just fantastic, close to a million dollars that they're knocking down just in uh, just in twenty twenty four by progressing through these two phases. So it's going to be exciting times here in twenty twenty four to monitor these progresses and. Uh, once these announcements are made, we will make those announcements available to you uh, as appropriate. Guys, if you enjoy the content coming through the channel on companies like Charbonne and others, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Hit the thumbs up uh, uh, to help support the message. Hit the notification bell. Uh, I'll be notifying you uh, as soon as the news wires hit on any progress toward the discussions that we've just had on standing up their first green hydrogen facility in Sorrel Tracy. Exciting times. It it could be any time now as their first projection was earmarked in June of 2024. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this video and good luck in your investment future. Mm -hmm.